Welcome back to the vlog. Today's a $300 buy-in at the 1-3 game. It's 3.30 a.m. in the morning, five-handed action, and the first hand that I decide to get frisky with in the big blind is seven deuce offsuit. There's a button straddle on the pot. I'm gonna open the action. I make it 35. The button straddler folds, and the other gun player comes along. I'm out of position, heads up. We're going to the flop, and it's jack four deuce. The flop is good enough for me. The one high card, two low cards, not too connected, is better for my range. I lead out 55. Hoping to take it down right now. The other gun player is going to have none of it. He ships in 125. I decide to toss it away. Fight another day. This vlog is turning into a joke right off the bat. I top back off from 210 to 300. I'm in for 390 now. And I pick up King Jack offsuit in the hijack. Folds around me. I'm going to open the action. I make it 15. The cutoff calls. The big blind defense. Three-way action. $46 in the pot. And the flop comes 9 deuce 3. Once again, I'm going to continue to bet. When it checks me, I make it 30, and the cutoff makes the call. The turns the 8 of hearts doesn't develop my hand any further, but I'm going to continue betting into it like I have something. I make it 55, and the cutoff is sticky. He comes along, 216 in the pot. We're going to the river. I'm looking for a miracle, and it's the jack of hearts. I get there. I have top pair on the board. I have a great kicker. I didn't bluff all this way just to skip out on value street. I could have gone larger 216 in the pot. It's really important to know how much money is in the pot so that you can bet the river accordingly. I go really small. A one-third pot size bet, $70. The cutoff's priced in. He counts out his chip, slides him directly next to mine. I flip up my hand, and the cutoff's not happy. He mucks in frustration. I'm scooping a juicy pot, over $400 in my stack, and things are starting to heat up because I pick up Ace-King in middle position, 434 in the stack. I open the action for $15. The button makes the call. So does the small blind. The big blind has other plans. He decides to rip his whole stack in 194 total. I'm not going anywhere. I make the call. The flop comes out. Six jack queen. I pick up a gut shot to the 10. The turn is the three of spades. And the river is the ace of diamonds. I bink it on the river. But my opponent flips up pocket jacks. Hitting the set on the flop. I was still live to the 10. But I'm down to 240. And once again, I'm topping off to 300. In for $450 now. If you're enjoying this video and want to help me in such a small but big way, take a millisecond and drop a like on the video. Thank you so much. And the next hand I pick up is 10 six of spades in the small blind. The middle position player limps. So does the cutoff and button for $2. I'll defend. We're headed to the flop four ways and the flop comes out queen four queen. Absolutely nothing for me. It checks through to the turn and it's the six of hearts. The middle position player bets nine. Picking up the pair of sixes, it's good enough for me to make the call. The river comes out the five of spades. The middle position locks and loads, fires 25 into the center. It was a good river for me. If he has a queen, so be it. And he flips over a bluff, 10-7 suited. I'm scooping the pot. 346 in my stack, and I pick up 8-7 spades. I'm in the cutoff. There's an under the straddle on the pot, and I open the action to 20. The button makes the call. The small blind defends, and the under the gun is going to protect his straddle. Four-way action to the flop, $83 in the pot. And the flop comes out king 10 10. I'm gonna go ahead and take a stab at it. When it checks to me, I make it 40. The button and the under the gun player both wanna come along. The turn is the king. With no equity and two other players in the pot, I should just give up. One of them probably is a 10, the other probably is a king. But I have a hard time just giving up once I've invested chips. Probably a lot of us do. I decide to go with a bet of 70, hoping to push both of them out. This plan is having a wily coyote level of success. The button ships 70 in the middle of the pot, and the under the gun player has no problem calling as well. The river's a three. This time, the under the gun player leads out for 75. I'm giving up the hand, and I gave up a lot of chips. The winning hand was incredibly ace queen. Like a bloodhound, I was on the right scent, but instead of being a poker beast, I was a poker puppy. Gave up on the hand. I should have stuck with my original plan. 216 in my stack. I realize it's not my day. I rack up my chips and I'm going to take off when the blinds get to me. I'm under the gun. One hand left and I pick up ace jack offsuit. Of course, I have to play this. I had even put my camera away, but I pulled it back up on our way to the flop. I had opened it for 13, got four colors, five ways to the flop, and it comes out queen 10 10. Not much for me. I do have a gut shot, but this is going to be a hand I can get away from. Get up from the table, just take a loss. The flop checks through and the turn peels off. It's the king. It gives me the straight. Oh my gosh, what is happening? The poker gods just love playing with you when you're dangling on the edge of disaster. Chips are in the rack and you're going to give them back. But I have to make a bet. I'm first to act. I go $15. And then the big blind who checked to me puts in a sneaky raise to 55 Looking at this hand right now, I should probably bump it back up. The board is paired. I don't need to go bonkers on this one. There is an argument for putting in a bet to deny equity to flush draws. I decide on a call. The river comes out the nine of hearts. This is a great card because now jacks are going to be extra sticky. They're not going to like calling, but they're going to have to. The big line checks to me. Maybe he wants to go for the sneaky check raise. Maybe he raised on the flop kind of as a blocker bet to the river, hoping to get me scared. I'm not scared. And I give him a price that's pretty tempting. 80 to call. I'm thinking he'll call with any king, any queen, any jack, any 10, maybe even a nine. 
but instead he mucks and i'm scooping the pot 323 on my stack i'm gonna take off but before i even get my chips racked up the dealer's dealt another hand and i'm in the big blind i decided to be polite and post it i stay for another orbit and once again my last hand under the gun i get nine seven of clubs 351 in my stack the middle position player limps a small blind defense four-way action headed to the flop and the dealer puts out three clubs with two overs i flopped a flush but it's only nine high i make it 20. once again last hand of the night and my opponent raises me to 100. Now I'm faced with the decision. I only have 328 behind. I'm either going to fold this one and just call it a night. But I'm, of course I'm not going to fold this. So what does that leave me the option with? I guess I just have to ship it all in. But what if he already has a mate flush above me? There's only the ace, queen, and jack that beat me. Maybe just as the ace of clubs have been a pair. Maybe he has king 10 and is just trying to defend. Doesn't know that I have the flush yet. The whole entire table knows it's my last hand. The entire table knows that an orbit ago it was my last hand. This is more painful than it should be because I'm just trying to get out of here without losing all my money. But there's nothing else that I can do. All right. If you, it's, it's my last hand. Come on. I do ship it all in. And I already regret it. Why does it always happen? I'm bluffing. Yeah. No, you're not. You're not bluffing. After he tells me I'm not bluffing, he slides his chips into the pot. That's not a good sign. All in, looking to dodge a club, looking to dodge a paired board. The turn is the eight of spades. So far, so good. The river. Oh, the ace of clubs, absolutely devastating. If he has the queen or the jack, I'm screwed. I show my hand. He doesn't. He mucks. I'm scooping the pot. The table laughs a little bit about if I'm just going to pick up and go now. Are you done? I guess I'll stay for another round. How about right now? You done? Wow. Keep going. 708 in my stack. A few hands later, there's a three-way all-in. I'm the only one not involved at the table. Two players bust, and the game breaks. It's time to take my chips to the cage. To turn him into cold hard cash. In for 450, out for 675 for a profit of $225. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to join the family, join the fun. Kato out.